Hey y'all, Courtney Lyons here with Diamonds Are Girls Best Friend, and buckle up for a very deluxe intro to <laughs> a very deluxe product. I love this portfolio right off the bat, just to tell you, but keep watching to see what this is about. This is the Burrow Portfolios Deluxe Quad Plus. It is a 32 by 43 inches, which is 81.28 by 109.22 centimeters, and works amazing for giant diamond paintings. All right, like stated in the intro to this video, this is the Burrow Portfolios. This is the, I'm forgetting the size, but we're gonna see that in a second, and I'm sure I'll put it in the intro. So I specifically got this for diamond painting. Um, it's great because it's not something I probably normally would have gotten on my own, except that, um, this is going to work for any big projects for the kids as well, which there will be some for homeschool, which means that I was able to get it with the homeschool budget, which is awesome because we had a lot um, left over and I was like, ooh, this is totally on the list of things that I could get. And so I splurged a little with <laughs> that homeschool budget because I'd already gotten all the things the kids needed because mostly we got the stuff needed from the year before. So really there was quite a bit. Um, that I was able to use for this that I can put my diamond paintings in any big projects that kids have and I'm really really excited so I'm going to you'll have kind of seen the outside with everything but let's go ahead and break it down all the way and open it up and show you what it looks like to have my diamond paintings in here I do want to give credit to Katie with Diamonds and Washi because I saw this on her channel first and was like Oh my gosh that's the solution that's what i want <laughs> at least for now this seems like this is going to be great so i'm going to pull it out and show you guys the inside okay so you're gonna see probably most of my kitchen table and it's a little bit crooked this is not an easy shot to get because this thing is massive massive so we'll look at the size in a second because i can't remember it off the top of my head but it is the biggest size that you possibly could get on there it's called the quad something I did want to show you the packaging before I show you the rest. This right here, these are, I believe this comes with it. I can't remember if I ordered more on top of what was already there. I think I did, but it could be that this is what already came with it. These are the sleeves, and so they're in this, um, kind of show you by opening it right here, because I'm going to put them in, so I don't care about this, this box. Before. Okay, so you can see right here, these are the different sleeves that it goes, uh, that goes in it. Guys, this thing is massive. Ugh. So very well protected. So very well protected. So let's go ahead and pull. This is the actual portfolio and it is covered in bubble wrap. And then this came, gosh, this whole thing is gonna be so heavy that when we put the diamond paintings in, it's probably going to be even heavier. So. This will be interesting. This might be for my biggest paintings and most important to me paintings because there are first off only so many sleeves. And second, I don't know how I could carry something this big and heavy with the diamond paintings already being heavy. So just keep that in mind. I don't know how many I'll actually put in there past the sleeves that already come with it because you can add up to a certain amount of sleeves I'll pop that up above if I remember too. But yeah, it's um, it's still gonna be an awesome solution. I will say it's a little bit bendier than I thought, but still pretty stiff, which is what I was going for. I do have a different portfolio that is bendy, um, but I still think I will use that for finished or unfinished ones like I have had. All right, I'm gonna open this now. Okay, so this is a very nice portfolio. I love that it has a stiffness to it that my other one does not because I've had to put cardboard boxes on the inside, but I did want to show you. This is for if you want a strap, I believe that you can buy a strap separately. I do love that it has these kind of uh, knobby things on the end here for standing upright if you want to stand it upright. It doesn't look like it has it on the other side, which is interesting to me. So even though the handles, whoa, okay, <laughs> bumping you guys. Even though the handles on that side, the standing up part is also on that side. So let's open this up and see. Oh my gosh, this is just messing my <laughs> tablecloth up and everything. I don't think there are any sleeves in here to begin with. Oh, look, no, 
it does come with a strap. That is nice to have. I'll put that on for you in a second, but always nice to have a strap. Just going to open this up the rest of the way. It does have the three point zipper for sure. Okay, cool. And I love that it has this because I think that will help keep, especially if I have more diamond paintings. Oh, you can't even see it. Hold on. Guys, this is massive. I don't even know how to show all this to you, but this has it, I which I think will be useful to keep in there because until I have a lot of diamond paintings in here, this is going to keep it stiffer and keep things staying where they should be. At least I'm thinking that's how it will work. Okay, so let me turn this so you can see it. Do you see how back there, these uh, binder-like rings, that's where you are going to connect these sleeves that I have over here. And then it does have this right here, which I love because you can put the sleeves inside there with the diamond painting and it's going to keep the diamond painting stiff and upright even when it's being hung up. Like it's not going to slip down and fold as easily, which is what I'm really, really hoping for. And this makes sense that, let me see, let's look at the sleeves. We're gonna have to look at the sleeves in a second here, but um, yeah, no, I'm gonna put the, I'm gonna put the, I'm gonna put this on in a little bit, okay? Because I'm not turning that thing again, <laughs> not for a little bit. Well, buddy, I had to take my sweater off because now I'm hot trying to maneuver all this. So let's look at the sleeve really fast because inside the sleeve, you do have this black protective part. It's a little stiffer, which I appreciate, and it doesn't move. So it is attached on the sides there. So that way you can have one looking this way, but also have it divided and have one looking this way. Very much appreciated. I am going to take a second to put this together. So I'll kind of give you an idea of how it goes. Well, no, I'll put it together first and then show you guys rather than do it in fast motion because this, I'm going to have to move my camera to do this and it's just not gonna be possible to show you. I maybe should have done this on the floor, but I just don't really have a good floor space or setup to do that in this house. So let me get back to you. I'm going to put these together and then I'll kind of point out how I had to put it together. And yes, I'm so sorry that you're like, it's not nice and neat right here because I had to pull out so far. You're seeing like all the background <laughs> area. So, okay, let's, let's move on to what it looks like once it has these sleeves inside. Okay, here we go. They are all in here. They are nice and thick. One of the things I want to do, I don't know if you can see, gosh, it's so hard to show. Here, I'll just turn this up like this. Do you see that, that band right there going across? That is an elastic band, and I think that's so you can pull this back and put it behind there so when you have it open or partially open, they don't just slide closed on you because these are heavy. Like even these are heavy, which is good. I really like that. So I'm excited. This is definitely something that's going to be great for homeschool, which is why I like, I was like, yeah, I could like, this is okay. I can do this with for homeschool because this is going to be so useful because so many times I want to do these big projects with the kids, but they're like, but we don't like, we'll do it. And then I'm like, I don't know where to put this thing. So eventually I go and I toss it and then they get really sad because it's their it's their artwork and i'm like well, i don't i don't really know what to do with this guys like i don't know where to put this i don't know so eventually sometimes like some of them we have still to keep but some of them i'm like okay we we have to we can't have all these random stuff laying around that you guys don't actually you know they just gets trampled on and stuff and so this is going to be great for that and it's going to be great for putting finished diamond paintings in that are huge like this so um Yes, it. when I did look at the size online, it should fit any diamond painting that I have right now. We'll have to see. And we're gonna do, we're gonna see. We're going to see if it fits my Rose Library because that is my biggest diamond painting that I have that I'm working on right now. I'm fairly certain it's going to fit here, but I'm not 100%, so we're going to check. But I do want to point out a few things putting these sleeves on. First off, they have like the variegated, I'm going to zoom in there. You can see right there, they have those holes, those po poked holes right there. 
and it was actually not difficult to put on. I thought it was going to be. First off, watch out. So those open up on the end there. Hold on. I will show you what I mean by that. So these open up like that, like a binder would. They're binder clips. So you can see, I'll zoom out again. The middle one is open, the other ones are closed, but they are sturdy as heck. <laughs> And it is also very, very sharp right there. So if you do get this, keep that in mind. That's very sharp. Don't poke yourself on it. I a little bit poked myself here or there. So just, just a heads up on that. And they were actually super easy to do. They're so stiff. All I had to do was kind of lift it and kind of lean over and put one side in and they all kind of just fell in place. Like if you got this one side in and you kind of just wiggled it a bit, they fell into place and it was so much easier. I thought I was gonna be doing this for like an hour <laughs> and I got them in the, seriously, it took like seven minutes. So, um, and I say seven minutes because it actually took seven minutes. So it was not long. And I know it took seven minutes because I was watching Jamie French <laughs> into her like crumble cookie scandal thing that she did just popped up a video of. And <laughs> I think she's so funny. Anyway, so I popped up and I, I, I was watching that and I, from start to finish, I got about seven minutes in before I paused it so I can continue this video. So that's how I know it was seven minutes. And then, yeah. Oh, another thing I wanted to point out. This on this one side is where the opening is. And I want to tell you why I think that's ingenious. First off, it's not both sides. So that if you do put it up a certain way, it's not going to slide out. Um, the second thing is this part of it gosh i can't zoom out anymore this part at the top gosh it's so hard to see okay hold on i'm gonna undo this so i can pull this back and you can see better so you see this whole thing this is the zippered part obviously that edge over there would be like in a book it'd be like the spine and it is the part that has the handle which, which means you're gonna be holding it up by the handle or you can lay it down this way because I have those little spots to be laid up that way as well. And that's ingenious because then you're not going to have kits sliding out this way or sliding out this way. It's never really going to be on that side where it can slide out. So I just thought that was genius. Um, I also really love this big pocket. And I kind of talked about it, and it's so heavy. Oh my gosh. And I'm going to show you why in a second here. First, I've, I have a few finished diamond paintings I want to put in there. And I'm going to fold most of these over. There we go. I knew I could zoom out more. I'm going to fold most of these over and start with this side. Because I want the sides that have the diamond paintings in it to be tucked in to that pocket. So I'm going to take this. And I'm only going to leave the very bottom one for now. And I'm going to pull the rest of them up here. And let's see how long this works. Oh my gosh. First off, it's so heavy to come over the top of this. Don't. <laughs> okay. I think we're good. I don't even know if you can hear me from here because I don't have my mic because it died, which was just laziness on my part. So let's first off take out my biggest finished kit. It is not my biggest kit that I've been working on, but it is my finished kit biggest finish kit and I've been dying to have this one out so I can put it away. Okay, it's sad to her right here. Look how pretty she is. Oh my gosh. Every time I take her out, I'm just blown away. And you know what? I thought Satura as I pulled it out, because Satura is a big one. This is like almost 90 centimeters. Yeah. This one's, it was like 87, oh, it says it right here, 86 centimeters. Okay, so not quite, I was thinking it was 87, 89. So it's 86 centimeters, which is really not that much less. And by 55 centimeters. So, yeah, you got some, you have some wiggle room here for sure. There are kits out there that are gonna be bigger than that. In that case, either hang them up or put them somewhere because this is the biggest I've been able to find portfolio wise that is quality even just the biggest in general so I'm going to move this other one off to the side and I'll show that to you in a minute too because I think 
because I'm interested to see what happens when you put something smaller in there like this one right here. So I'm going to flip this over. I'm hoping, I'm really sincerely hoping that I'm able, oh, so soft, that I'm able to put this in without having to use clips of any sort because I really prefer not to. Okay, another tip I wanted to say um, is that I think this would have, well, first off, I, to put that other kit in, the Satura, as you saw, I kind of had to keep it flat on the edges, like hold it flat like this and tight as I pushed it along and then make sure it was flattened because I was struggling because it had been rolled up into a tube, a microscope tube, not microscope tube, telescope tube, that it was moving around. So here it is right here. It's so cool. Another tip I would say is let's, like, if you're doing it and not trying to film it, put it down on a big piece of empty floor so that you could have just, like, because obviously it would have worked out better if I had turned this and then put it in, but because of my camera setting, I just obviously needed to put it in this way, and I wasn't going to move this whole thing again unless I have to because it is massive and heavy, which is definitely a downside, but it's also kind of an upside because it's very, very sturdy so yeah i mean it's these kits are going to move around this way but what i'm hoping for and here i'm going to do it right now i'm hoping for this yeah it's making me crazy a little bit there we go that's what i want that's what i want yes i love this so this is going to make it so they don't crumble as much and then the more like if I put all of these in, which I kind of don't want to right this second, but it's going to thicken that and then I can even put this in right here. So let's look at that. I want to see what happens if I put this in. Yeah, those kits are not going to go anywhere. Once I put this, like even if they have to go this way. Oh dear, oh no. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. So even if I have to like turn it this way to be upright because that's where the stand pieces are, um, I'll show you, you kind of saw that at the beginning, the plastic pieces that stick out so you could put it up, which that's one thing I'm confused about because if the stand pieces to hold it up, to let it stand up is on that side, why isn't the handle on this side? I don't understand that there probably is a rhyme or reason to this. It really looks like the people really tried it hard to make sure this was designed properly. So there's probably reason to it. My brain's just not comprehending why because it makes more sense to me to have the handles on this side so that the other side could be standing upright so you can lift it and not have to switch sides so things in there are not moving around. I'm not sure because this would be ideal if I could lay it up against something inside a closet or at least be capable of doing that rather than having to put this flat under a bed or something. I'm going to see what we can do but in the meantime I have some more kits that I'd like to put away in here that are my finished ones. I can show that to you. Um, I might struggle trying to get some in here, <laughs> but I'll kind of skip through the really struggling parts, but generally show you guys uh, me putting my bigger kits away. I just realized this was not on all the way, <laughs> but I wanted to point out, so I put my, let me zoom out any further here. I put my, the one with the diamond art right here, and it is not sliding down on its own when I tried to. So I have to reach in and grab it, but I also see that as a plus because I don't want these sliding around. I want them staying put. And so I really like that this inside is very matte feeling. It's not, I feel like it's a little, oh yeah, see, I should have done that. <laughs> I wanted to see if it was terrible. It is terrible, not terrible as in like bad, but terrible as in it's easy to tear. So I'm gonna get some tape in a little bit and fix that, but that was done. <laughs> but it also, it also, because it's this paper, it really doesn't slip around that much. So I like that. And I was noticing, because I, I, I walked over to that side, I, I thought I had shown you, but I realized I didn't push play, that this was open 
all the way to that side before I went in and put stuff away or like before I went in and put this away and it wasn't moving I had to push it around so I love that these are very well is engineered the right word I don't know if that's the right word hold on I'm gonna put it in the fast motion again as I work on more Oh my gosh, guys. I knew I was going to be excited about this. I did not realize how much I was going to be excited about it. So I have six kits right here and I don't think that's going to go anywhere. I am going to test it in a little bit, but that is so awesome because these, these, even when I was turning the pages, they were not moving. So yeah, that is exciting. I am even more impressed by this once actually opening it up. Like sometimes you see a product like this, like my last portfolio, it's still a great portfolio, don't get me wrong, but it does not hold the things. It doesn't have sleeves. It only, like, it's just not stiff. I managed to make it a little stiffer and I was able to, I have a few videos that show what my, what my setup is like, but in the other portfolio, I have a whole bunch of diamond paintings that I for sure am keeping and not be stashing and I've put in there to keep safe, but they're attached to cardboard box pieces and then put in the portfolio. But it is very difficult to move around because it's very bendable still, so they just bend easily still and they just move around a lot and it just isn't very good. There's not individual sleeves. So I was like, you know what? I just realized this is not going to work for finished diamond paintings. So that's why I put my ones that were not finished in there and yeah, I'm really excited about this. And then what I'll probably do, because now I think it's already thick enough in that, and eventually, I don't think I'll need to use this, eventually I'll have so many finished diamond paintings that they'll kind of compact each other and stop them from moving. And plus, these are tight enough that I really don't think they're going to move much anyway, but we are going to see and find out. I am going to do one more ultimate test. My Rose Library, which is like 90 something, 93 centimeters, um, I already know it's going to fit. It just doesn't look like it's going to fit. So I'm going to bring it down to try it, even though I really don't want to bring it down because it's kind of a bother to do that. I, I yeah, I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it for you guys. This is for you guys, so I'll be back. Okay, here is Rose Library. I'm not going to put it in because I can obviously see if it's going to fit or not. <laughs> I just don't want to manhandle this one any more than I have to. Um, because I move it around so much. So this is a, what is this? It's an 88 centimeter, 98 centimeters. Oh my gosh, I can't see what this is. Yeah, okay, that's 98 centimeters by 70, which makes sense because 98 plus like what, there's five more centimeters right there because this is supposed to be like 103, 105. So do I have kits that won't fit in here? Maybe one, maybe one. And if so, it's going to barely not fit. But even then, if it sticks out just a little bit here, it's going to, I, I'll still be able to close it. And worst case scenario, I'm not married to the edges or the legend or anything like that. I love having the washi tape borders, so I could probably easily cut, what is that, like three, four centimeters off the edge right there. So the actual diamond painting size, which is, because this whole thing, you have to understand, this whole thing is not 98 centimeters long. It's more like, you know what? I'm going to get something and measure it. Here we are. This will do from, this is centimeters. We're gonna do, can you see that okay? Yeah, yeah, you can see that. Okay, so this is zero to, 
Yep, okay, so from one side to the other, it is about 100, 108 centimeters. So you could fit a diamond painting that it is 108 centimeters long. You just need to cut off the edges because Rose Library itself, just the diamond painting area is, it says 98, let's see if it's correct. That is pretty spot on, let me see. Yep, just shy of 98 centimeters. But the whole painting is like 105 centimeters. So this whole thing is 105 centimeters. And while it's not in there, you can obviously see it's going to fit. So um, width wise, you might run into some problems with some kits that are really thick. But I believe Diamond Art Club, it's not like if you're looking at Diamond Art Club kits, I don't think any of them are able to go over, I think what it was was 70 or 75 or 76. I can't remember. It's something like that where they, I think, can't even manufacture it where it's more than that. I could be wrong. Take that with a grain of salt, but I'm pretty sure I heard that. And yeah, I... <laughs> Yeah, I'm very, very impressed. I think very few kits will be too big to be in here. If they are, I can probably cut off the edges. If that's even too big, then I'm crazy for have by having bought it to begin with. But also, that's what these tubes over here are for. Those telescope tubes. There's one in the corner, that's why I pointed that way. Because you'll probably just either have to put it up or roll it up, and that's just gonna be fine. This is going to fit, fit the majority of kits that most people will do that are large kits, smaller kits. I do have a few in here. I mean that that um the fox one, but until I start running out of space, which I don't see that happening for very long, because I think there's 20 sheets or maybe 40. What well, I didn't even count how many there were. I believe that was 20 or 40. Um, let me check. Yep, 20 sheets. So there are 20 sheets front and back. That's 40 kits. I do a lot of smaller kits, but big ones take a long time. I don't see me running out of space, even if I do medium-sized or kind of smaller kits for a long time. Yeah, that's just not going to happen. So I'll probably put smaller ones in here too. Um, not small, small ones, but like medium-sized to big ones. And then when I inevitably eventually run out of room... I'll find some, maybe I'll get a smaller, maybe by that time I'll get a smaller one because they do have different sizes on there. Um, I will link down below this place so you can see it and uh, really fast. Isn't this like amazing here? Let me get some better lighting over here. I just realized I, when I moved my camera to the side, my lighting went away. So I'm sorry. Lighting and everything on this is going to be a little bit messy just because it's so huge. Just trying to get all this in camera. So the last shot I want to show you guys is me pulling this upright and holding it up against something to see if putting this inside and everything will make it so that these kits stay put. Uh, I am going to move Rose Library first because I'm still working on her. Okay guys, so here it is. Um, here is the part where you can turn it the other way and I think it can be, be like held there. Um, I did forget to put this here. Let's do that now. So that you can, I, I'm too short to do this, to put it on my shoulders and hold it. I might, it might be useful to me, but um, <laughs> I'm pretty short. So looks like that actually has to go the other way. So it's probably gonna be more like Here you go. Okay, um, there we go. And then, nope, I still did it wrong. Oh, you know, it doesn't matter because it swivels. Duh, that's funny. Okay, so let's put this on the other side. It does swivel. Hmm. Okay, so there you go. We have that. This is I wanted to see in doing it a little bit. I don't want to show your gross floors. <laughs> that that does not look like it's going anywhere. Look at that. They are staying completely put. There's that one right there. So 
I know this is kind of like an awkward angle and it's very dark and stuff. I don't know how else to show this to you guys, but it is not moving. It's right there, and then let's see the one behind it. Uh, let's see. That's that one. I really want to see. Yep, that's not moving. Oh, you can't see it. Oh, dear goodness. You can see it right there, the very corner right there. I don't know how else to show you guys that it's not moving when it's upright like this. And then once it's zipped, it's so stiff. I can put this. Okay, sorry. Better orientation now. I can put this in a closet upright like this without having to worry about those diamond paintings sliding down and being crumpled and losing drills that way. It is so sturdy. And then the more diamond paintings I put in there, oh my gosh, it's so heavy though. <laughs> the more diamond paintings I put in there, the, more, the sturdy it's going to be. I am beyond impressed. I am in love. I am so glad this is what I chose to pick up because it really is like the most expensive high end that I was able to find out there. And it's worth it. It's so, so worth it. So I'm going to link it down below if you guys want to get it. It is pricey. But if you diamond paint as this much, probably a lot of you guys do diamond painting even faster and more than I do. And you want somewhere to put your kits. You don't want to sell them or give them away and you're not ready to put them up. And this is just a crafty love, but you want to hang on to this. This is awesome. This is a really good way to do it. I want the smaller ones now because I think those are going to be worth it too. And yeah, you know, I, I would say this is like a poster thing too. And I think that I will not add any more pages, even though I will be like putting some of the kids stuff in there that's going to be like a thinner paper. I think my diamond paintings are also going to make it too thick to add very many more pages than are already in there. And I don't want to overdo it, but maybe, maybe once I get to the point where I'll actually fill it up, you can add, I think, 20 more pages in there before they recommend you get a different one. I don't know and I don't remember except that <laughs> I'm just beyond thrilled. Beyond thrilled. I'm so excited. Okay, that's it, guys. I'm going to leave you to it and hopefully you guys will... <laughs> I'm going to try to do the intro part now, which I'm going to put at the beginning, and it's going to be difficult to say the least. I just realized I never actually said bye, so I will do that right here. Thank you for watching, guys. Bye!